Hello everyone, Richard here today, and today I want to take some time and show you how to make a, a link clickable when you send out an email in um, your GVO or Pure Leverage Autoresponder. And a lot of the editors used in autoresponders all function the same way, and I decided to make this video because what I realized through helping a lot of different people out set up their autoresponders and as most of you know, in your eight steps, we have a done for you email series that you plug in a share code and it populates your autoresponder with messages. And through those messages, we use um, we use uh, some tags that pull information from your profile in your autoresponder. So those messages work in a different format then if you're sending out a broadcast message to your list or adding up um, your own follow-up message to go out to your, your list. But the thing that I noticed is um, I subscribe to a lot of people's list after I help them do their campaign because to test it and make sure that everything shows up properly and everything's working properly. So I'm on a lot of people's list in your eight steps. Now, what I've noticed is when they go to broadcast a message, or they add a follow-up message of their own, when I get those messages in my um, email folders, the thing that I realize is none of the links are clickable in most people's emails, meaning um, you can't click on the link in the email to go anywhere. It's the email just, or the link just shows up like regular text. Because what I realize is a lot of people don't understand how to use an editor in one of these autoresponders. And, this may be the same if somebody's watching this video and is using a different autoresponder. A lot of these autoresponders have editors like this where you have to make the links clickable. Otherwise, if you don't, they won't show up click clickable. And so then, you know, people are lazy by nature sometimes, and they won't click on your links in your emails. Then they'll just, nothing's clickable. They'll just delete it, and there went your effort in trying to get a sign-up to something. So... That's what I'm going to run through here real quick. This will only take me a few minutes to show you how because it's actually really simple. And it took me a while to figure out how to do this because nobody, I never knew how to do it either. And I just realized one day when I was looking at one of my own emails, because like we teach, we tell you to subscribe to your own um, campaigns, you know, through your squeeze pages in your eight steps. That means put in your email and name so that, you know, you're on your own list so you can see how the emails come. And I was smart enough to do that when I first started using an autoresponder, and I realized that none of my links were clickable. So that's how I learned how to make them clickable. So what we're going to do is I'm already logged into GVO. And if you're in Pure Leverage, it's basically the same. You just go to your autoresponder, and you can find your autoresponder in Pure Leverage in your left-hand menu. Um, and what I'm going to do is go to, I'm in GVO right now, so I'm going to go to the autoresponder right here on the left-hand side. I'm going to click on that. And then what I'm going to do is these tabs right here at the top where it says campaigns, messages, subscribers, form, import, export. I'm going to click on messages. And now I am going to, just for this purpose, I'm going to send a broadcast out to all my list in this particular autoresponder. So I'm going to click on send a broadcast. And now it brings up the, the editor. And if you were to do this a different way, like you wanted to add a permanent follow-up message, you would just click on messages, click on add follow-up, and then this editor would show up. And the difference is broadcast is a message that's just going to go out one time, meaning it's going to go out now to everybody. That's the, of my list I select that it's going to go out to. And... When you add a follow-up, um, that's a different story. That will remain in the follow-up series permanently. So every person on your list, when they get to that certain spot in your email follow-up, they will get that particular message. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to scroll down, and you can see where the subject line is here. So what we're going to do, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go to your eight steps, and I'm already logged in. And I'm in the Affiliate Toolbox right here at this tab at the top. You just click on Affiliate Toolbox. And I'm just, like I said, doing this for simpl simplicity's sake to send an email out and to show you this real quick. And I'm going to scroll down and use this email right here where it says, Do three things and make money every time. 
copy that subject line. I'm going to go to the GVO autoresponder in the subject field, pasting that in. Now I'm going to go back to your eight steps and copy to the body of this email. And these are already set up with your name and affiliate link in, the e in these emails for you in your affiliate toolbox. So now I'm going to copy this, go to GBO, scroll down. I'm going to paste this in the HTML message form. And then I'm going to go down here and you got to put it in the text one as well. This is the way this particular autoresponder is set up. You have to paste it in both or write it in both. You know, like I said, I'm doing this to save time. Otherwise, I'd be writing an email, composing it, and you'd still copy it and paste what you wrote and put it into both the text and the HTML. Now, the message is all in here. Everything looks great, and you see this link right here that is in there. Now, it's not hyperlinked, and I'm going to try to enlarge this a little bit. So right now, this is just showing up as text, and that's exactly how somebody would get it. See, I got my um, mouse cursor on this. It's not highlighted or anything like that. So what we're going to do is go back to the affiliate toolbox, and we're going to copy this link, which would be your link. Copy it. Oops, and I hit a wrong button here, but that's easy correctable. And now I'm going to go back to GVO. And I'm going to take that link, and I'm going to highlight it. So I took my mouse cursor and highlighted it. Now up here you're going to see a link that looks like a chain link. And there's a broken one up here as well. This one that isn't broken is to make this link clickable. So what I'm going to do is click on that. I'm going to have this pop up. I'm going to paste in the link in the link URL area. And then there's a space before it, so i got to get rid of that space. So I'm going to hit delete here. Make sure there's no space between, before the HTTP colon slash slash your 8 stepscom the link. Okay. Now, that's all I need to do. And I just need to scroll down here and click insert. So now I click insert. And now you will notice that the link is hyperlinked. So now when somebody gets that in their email, they can click on that link and it'll take them to your affiliate page where they can sign up. And you can do this with words if you wanted to. You just again would highlight the words. You would go up to the link. It, you would you know, click on it. You would paste it in here. And again, scroll down, click insert. And now those words would be clickable. So when that went to your subscriber's inbox and they read that message, both the link would be clickable and words would be clickable. And some people like to send messages with just words clickable. Other people like to send them with a word in there clickable or just the link and nothing else. However you want to do it, you can play around with it to see what kind of that the best results you get. But that's as easy as it is to make a link clickable so when your subscribers get your messages, they can actually click on it and it will take them to your link. Otherwise, they would have to copy and paste it, which, like I said, people by nature are tend to be lazy, and a lot of times, out of curiosity, if they don't have much time when they're going through the email, they're not going to click on the link, and then they're going to forget about the message because they had to go somewhere, and they're, they're, they're going to miss it. And that's why it's so important to make sure that you have something clickable in your email that you send out that people are going to be able to just directly click on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send this out because this is a broadcast message, so I'm going to send it out to some lists up here. Some of these lists are old. I no longer build these lists separately, and like I said, some of them are old, but I'm just sending it out to a few that are up here, and I'm going to scroll down here, and then I would just hit add, And now my message is ready to be broadcast. And I'm going to have to make this a little smaller, the screen now, so that I can actually show you where you send it out. Okay, so now there's these three icons on the right-hand side, and here's your message sub subject line. And on this side where these three icons are, to send a broadcast, all you would do is click this first one. Um, it's called Q if you put your mouse cursor over it. And you click on it, click OK. 
and that message is going to be broadcast out to the list that you had selected. And if you were adding a follow-up message, you would click Add, and it's just automatically then added to your messages that are ready to go out on a daily basis to your subscribers. And other than that, that's how you make a link clickable. And I hope that um, everyone who has been sending out broadcast emails and follow-up, um, you maybe have been sending them out and not be sending out clickable links, and you may be wondering why your results are down or why you're not getting the results that you were hoping you were going to get, and that could be one of the reasons. It is very valuable to make that link clickable, and I cannot stress the importance of making the link clickable. Um, you're going to get a lot more signups um, to the things you are promoting by doing so. Because, like I said, you know, I hate to reiterate it again, but people are lazy by nature, and they don't have a lot of time sometimes. And when they're opening their emails, um, they're doing it quickly, and if they can't just click on the link, uh, they may say, hey, I'll do it later, and they never get back to it, and your email just gets deleted. And other than that, I hope that helps you out, and we will see you on the next video. Have a great day.